All right, welcome back to the build of the tenon cutter. So in this video, I'm gonna go through all the work that I did on the cross slide and the uh, table and fence. This cross slide is uh, pretty readily available at, at places like Harbor Freight. It's not a super high quality item, uh, but that do it doesn't need to be that high quality for this build. I am mostly gonna be relying on the weight of the thing to deal with the backlash and kind of come, going back and then going to my measurement each time. Uh, I started by disassembling the whole thing and that was a little tricky because one of these pieces had been tapped in but for the most part just completely disassembling and then uh, cleaning the whole thing. Next was to give all the parts a little scrubbing and a bath, get rid of all the grime. Then I moved on to stripping the paint off of the pieces. Um, this was hard because these castings were in terrible shape and I used a really good, very hard to find paint stripper um, that's supposed to bubble bubble off the paint, but it um, it just didn't really do it that well. So I had to do it a couple coats and then wire reel and sandblast and kind of work at it. Once the parts were relatively clean, I started modifying them. Uh, this was not the best setup. You see it just broke there, uh, so I flipped it around. I'm milling a uh, flat on one side of the bottom of the cross slide to accommodate a half inch thick uh, or half inch wide uh, measuring tape to uh, calibrate the machine. And the same thing here. There's a small flat for a measuring tape that fits on the other part of the cross slide for the left and right positioning. And then these are the holes for the uh, depth rod. So I'm drilling those and then tapping them. There was also the tapping operation on the side of this to hold the little sight gauge that would uh, reference the uh, measuring tapes. Now next I needed to square up this piece of uh, angle iron. This is going to serve as the support to hold the table. Uh, this is a strange part because it's, it's, uh, I didn't really feel like welding two plates together and dealing with uh, the hardened weld, so I cut a piece of angle iron and squared up both sides. I'm basically planing off this edge, which has a strange round. Basically, the angle iron, you know, the way it's, a, it's formed, has a bit of a roundness on it. And I wanted a nice sharp square edge so that I could index into the notch on the what was the vise of the cross slide. And for the same reason that I wanted to square up that edge, I also wanted to have a very flat, clean surface on one side of this L bracket so that it would sit cleanly against the machine surface on the the cross slide piece. So I'm fly, cut, fly cutting that. Next up is the table that will support the workpiece. Uh, this is a half inch thick piece of precision ground mild steel I got from McMaster. Uh, it is, it doesn't need to be this precise, but I, I did not want to have mill scale on a relatively flat piece of uh, hot rolled. So I went with the precision ground material, so that has a nice ground surface. I started by indicating in a center line on one side of the table, then center drilling, drilling, and finally tapping four holes, and this will allow me to bolt on the fence piece. The second setup for the table was to drill three tapped holes that the L bracket and its associated plate would be bolted to. At the time I was really worried about uh, problems with the frame weld or the alignment would make things unsquare and I wanted the ability to to shim things as needed to bring everything into into right dimension, you know, if 
if you can't make it right, make it adjustable kind of mindset. Uh, so that's why there's three holes in here, because you can define a plane with a triangle. Um, so I figured if I needed to make any slight adjustments to the orientation of the table relative to the blade, I could add little shims on these screws, but it turned out not to be really an issue. Moving on to the fence part, uh, this is another piece of precision ground mild steel, so it didn't need a whole lot of work, just uh, centered drilling and then clearance drilling the four holes that will allow me to bolt it onto the table, making a nice right angle for the workpiece to index against. So not pictured is the little square plate that I'm welding onto the one end of this L bracket. And then once that is welded and, and machined to, to square up against the rest of the L bracket, uh, three clearance holes are drilled into that, which allows me to bolt that L bracket onto the underside of the table. Doing a little test assembly here, make sure everything fits, then I clean everything with acetone, deburr it all, and put the masking tape on the exposed surfaces. So it's uh, the, the table and the fence, I'm leaving bare metal, uh, similar to uh, the top of a table saw, and mask and assembling it partially and then masking off uh, those surfaces. And then same thing for all the cross side pieces, the gibs or the ways, I guess, uh, are also going to get masked and some partial assembly. Uh, the surface on the top of the cross slide this is what, what used to be the vise is going to get masked as well so that it can be fitted up metal against metal. And on to some painting. So I was glad to get rid of that ugly old blue and replace it with my pleasing gray. So a uh, nice couple coats of etching primer and then a couple coats of this gray hammered finish paint. So it gives it kind of that professional machine tool look. So that's it for the cross slide uh, and fence table parts. Uh, next up, we're going to machine all the other sundry items and move on to the frame. Thanks everybody for watching. If you found this content helpful, please consider supporting Never Stop Building. The easiest way to do that is to simply hit that red subscribe button and click the bell to get notified of new videos and content that I release. If you really want to be my best buddy, become a Patreon subscriber where you can get plans to all these projects, uh, exclusive content, and much more. So check the description below for a link to that. And as always, never stop building.